So hi everyone, it's Carly Reese and today I have a special guest, Chloe. <laughs> and today we are making my favorite dessert, which is fruit pizza. Everything we have today is, you're gonna explain that. <laughs> I have a mixer and she has a mixer. Hers is yellow though. We have some cream cheese, some Cool Whip, we have two bananas. You can use all any yeah, any kind of fruit that you want to. I have bananas and strawberries. And then you're gonna need um, cookie dough for the bottom part. And then gum. Orange juice <laughs> for the banana. <laughs> a plate, a bowl, a bigger bowl, a knife, and a spoon. The first thing is to open your cookie dough. And then me and Chloe are going to spread out this. We're just gonna use our hands because it's easier. <laughs> so you have to pack it down and cover the entire bottom of the pan. So once you have the whole bottom of the pan covered, this is what it should look like. Nice and sticky proof. <laughs> then put it in the oven for however much it says on your package. Mine says 350 for 11 minutes. While that's cooking, you're going to take your bowl and you're going to mix these two things together. First, you're going to take out your cream cheese, put it in here, open that. And then we're going to put it in the microwave for about 20 to 10 something seconds so it can be all melty. Good job. <laughs> so if you have a bigger box like this, only use like three-fourths of it. Don't use the whole entire thing. And if you have a smaller box, just use the whole thing. I will have the whole recipe in the description below. Once it's all mixed up, just put it in the refrigerator. Next for our fruit section, we're gonna pour some orange juice into a little, whoa, a little bowl. And then Chloe, you wanna do our bananas? You get to chop up the bananas. So I already rinsed these yesterday because I had a few. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna cut the top off. So I'm cutting the strawberries like this. <laughs> yeah, you put them in the orange juice so they don't taste brown. Also, I think they taste better that way, even though it doesn't do anything. So seal them or done. So when it's done, you have to wait for it to cool completely and we finished all of our fruits. So we're almost ready to go. Now that our cookie dough is cooled, now we just get to dump all this on it. And this stuff is amazing. Everything about this is amazing. Like literally, I've never tasted anything better in my own entire life. I've been waiting for this for a long time now. So now we're putting on the fruit. So do like a strawberry and a banana next to each other. Do like two strawberries on one and one banana, and then two bananas on one and one strawberry. Just to make it all make So if you want more bananas, then you have it. And you can do some with all strawberries and some with all bananas. We are finished and it doesn't look that amazing, but it tastes good. So now we have to cut it. This is one that looks like when it thin it. And we are ready to dig in. Which one do you want? I'm going to have a I'm going to have that one. That no, one's too easy. <laughs> so whatever you don't eat, store it in the refrigerator. Thank you to Chloe for coming to make this <laughs> unbeautiful, tasty dessert. So that's it for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Please thumbs up this, vi <laughs> Please thumbs up this video. And... Go subscribe to my family's channel, our family nasty, my brother's channel, I'm Drew, so 